So like now I'll come to the, the part where you can nail the diagnosis if you identify. So I, it's one long list of things, but all I'm saying is just look out for them because once you see them, you might be able to target down to a specific diagnosis. So macrocephaly, as I mentioned before, was your Hanavans, Alexanders, and MLC. So these are the ones you'd commonly get macrocephaly. Enhancement you'd see in X-link ALD, but you can also see it sometimes in Alexanders and rarely in Krabby's. So, uh, but the typical one we always describe and location-wise is X-link ALD. Uh, white matter rarefaction, where the white matter sort of becomes very hypo-intense. Okay, so, it, so you get a bright white matter on um, uh, T2, but on flare, it sort of becomes very hypo. And so it's rarefying, it's liquefying. Okay, so these are the two ones. Very characteristic of vanishing white matter, because as the n way, n name implies, it sort of vanishes away. And LBSL, uh, which is another one which I'll show you. So this is a child who came with a sort of a deterioration after a viral illness. So, uh, which some, some of these, especially this one can occur with that history. Uh, so she has a diffuse white matter involvement. Okay, so, Remember I mentioned with diffuse white matter involvement, you can see it in canavans, you can see it in vanishing white matter. So this is another differential for that, and MLC. So this is diffuse white matter involvement. Uh, so, but look at the flare. So flare, it becomes very hypo-intense. So this is really rarefied white matter, and you can see small spotty areas which shows us that it's spared, you know, the white, the, where the white matter has not been involved. And this is the T1C, intensely low signal. So this is very typical of vanishing. This was genetically proven. Uh, it was actually sent to Vandenap and proved to be a little unusual.